everybody, it's Emma here. So today I have a super special guest, my sister Sarah. Hi. Hi. And this is her, her adorable little uh, firstborn here. So today we are going to dye Sarah's hair. So this is what we're using. Yeah. I'm going to show you the box. Yes. That's and you can see that. So this is Garnier Nutrice. Nourishing color cream and the color yes. is white chocolate 111. So 111 white chocolate. Yes. Now I don't know how well you can see her hair color. She's got yeah. some old color still left in it. Yeah. She's a little so she's darker up top. Yeah. It's not the only way, guys. Yeah. And then she's blonde at the bottom. Okay. Alright, so when we open this box, yeah. we've got yeah. several different little products here. So this is the developer. I I've, I've never dyed anyone's hair, by the way, so we're just gonna, you know, roll with it. We don't know what we're doing. We've got a mask treatment. We have a nourishing color cream. And it's, can't read what it is, but some kind of little droplet thing. All right, so right now I'm actually gonna go over the instructions and just go over how easy it is to open the use of products if you've never used hair dye before. I've used it once on myself, never on anybody else, and it was different, it had different stuff in the box. If you would like to just skip to the end results, check the description of the video and you can skip to the time at the end where we see the difference. All right, so step one, prep and mix. Twist the tip off of the cream developer bottle. Alright, so this is guy right here. Twist the top off. Okay, easy. And then it says remove cap from bottle. So we're taking the cap off. And then it says open the nourishing color cream. This is your nourishing color cream, so we're just going to twist that cap off. Alright, using the instructions to the right, squeeze the entire contents of tube B into bottle A. So all we're doing here is we're going to combine these two. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and get these mixed together on those little side instructions. Okay, so I emptied the entire tube of the color stuff into the big bottle. So now that's empty, I rolled it up just to squeeze everything out. Next, we're gonna add some kind of fruit oil. I don't know. So next, we're gonna add this to the bottom. All right, so I just finished pouring this guy into the bottle. So now I'm just replacing the cap. And I'm gonna cover this little top since this is open and we're just gonna shake it until it's well blended. Now the instructions say to wear your gloves when you're doing this just so your fingertip you know, isn't exposed to the dye. I don't do it, that's just me. All right, so now that I've thoroughly mixed up our dye mixture, what I'm gonna do is start um, clipping some of Sarah's hair back here, just so it's easier to make sure we get full coverage on this. And it is important to note, so how you can see some of her old color fading out. This was professionally done. She's never used a box dye before. And like I said, I've only done it once on myself. So this will be our first time using a box dye, especially for Sarah. Alright, so we've got these cute little clips here. These just came off by Amazon. It just came with a clip of different hair dye tools. So we've got some different cute things we'll show you along the way. But for now, I'm just going to make sure that I brush her hair out really nice and evenly smoothly. And then I'll pin it back and I'm going to do the bottom half of her hair first. Alright, so now that we've got kind of the top half put up, I'm just going to start start with this bottom half and make sure I get everything full covered. Now that we've got our mixture all mixed up, we're going to go ahead and dye, start the process. So first I want to call out, as you can see, Sarah changed shirts here. Make sure you're mindful of your clothes and your surroundings so that you don't get anything stained, that you're not okay with being stained. So if you keep any towels, like hand towels or anything on that on hand, just make sure it's something you don't mind getting stained because hair dye can be very messy. All right, so what we've got here, like I said, we've got this little 
hair dye kit off of Amazon with different things in it. So I'm going to try to use that. So I'm going to take this hair dye and just pour it in this little bowl. And I'm just going to kind of lightly coat that bottom layer. And then I'm going to take one of these brushes and we're just going to try it like that. Now I've never had my hair done in the salon, but this looks like more of what they use in the salon. I'm not sure. So we'll see how that turns out. I'm sure it'll help it be more even and get to the roots better. So let's see. Oh, gloves. Forgot my gloves. Make sure you're wearing your gloves, people. Got a glove on one hand and I've got one hand free so I can hold the brush with. I'm just gonna go for it. Starting a little bit below the roots and just kind of working my way up. And using my other hand just to help spread it out, spread it down. Went over all the roots and kind of got it started with that brush. Now I'm just using my hands to really work through the rest of her hair. It's definitely easier, I think, to use your hands to kind of coat the whole strands. But we've got the bottom layer coated pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and take our clips off and start working on the top layer. So I'm just going to carefully take these out and make sure we set them on a safe surface so that they don't stain anything in case they came in contact with the hair dye. Now I'll let this top layer down. And I will go back to my brush and bowl mixture. And I'm going to start, start at it. Again, I'm going a little bit below the roots. On the instructions, it recommends going an inch below the roots. I'm probably doing about half an inch, but um, and just going really thin with it. Just getting kind of that top coated, and then I go around and kind of spread it through the rest. I'm just gonna take a brush really quick and brush through it just to help spread it evenly. Something really important to note is that this stuff smells very, very strongly. This is worse than any hair dye I've ever smelled. It's incredibly strong. So just try to make sure you're in a well ventilated area. And if you're sensitive to smells, I do not recommend this because it's, re it's really strong. We're both here about to get headaches from the smell. So. Just something to note that if you're, you know, sensitive to smells, anything like that, you probably want to try something different. I would maybe research good dyes that are sensitive for that stuff or maybe have less of an odor. According to the package, you're supposed to do 10 minutes from the mid of your hair to the ends. And then after 10 minutes, you go do the roots and the top and let it for another 20 minutes. Since Sarah kind of had this ombre thing going on, since her other hair dye was growing out, I just went ahead and did her whole hair and we're just going to wait 30 minutes. So after waiting for approximately 30 minutes, we have let everything set and now it's time to take it out. But first I want to read the instructions and make sure we do that correctly. So according to the instructions, it says before you rinse, add a small amount of water and massage into a lather for one minute. So you don't want to rinse it out yet. You want to add a little bit of water, kind of scrub it, rub your hair. Then you want to rinse your hair until the water runs clear. I'm just going to slide these clips out. Let's do the bottom first. And then I'm gonna do the top. And I'm being very careful because I don't have gloves on. And now Sarah, I'm gonna spray her hair with water to get just add a little bit of water so she can scrub it. So if you wanna, yeah, yeah. Oh, let's go ahead and get the bottom right down too. All right, so I'm gonna spray it with a little water. Now to rub it into a lather. Okay, everyone. So we're finally all finished with everything. 
So Sarah went and rinsed all of that out of her hair. Something important to note though, it is, is that it is very hard to tell when the water runs clear. And that's how the instructions tell you when you're finished rinsing is when your water runs clear. But because this color of dog was so blonde, like so light, it only made the water slightly cloudy. So it was very difficult to tell when it was rinsed completely. So that's just something to note that you really have to pay attention to the clarity of the water to make sure that it you get all the, the dye out. So after she rinsed the dye out, that's when she put the conditioner in and let it sit for five minutes and rinse it out. And we both agree that that conditioner has made her hair like incredibly soft. I mean like, that stuff, I don't know what's in it, but that's really, really good conditioner. Her hair is like super soft and shiny and it may be hard to tell in the video, but it looks awesome. Super awesome. All right, so we'll talk about the color a little bit now. It looks much lighter than it did. And I'll try to put a before and after picture on here so you can see. It definitely made it blonder. So mission accomplished there. It's not the exact color on the box, even, you know, it shows you on the side what you'll go like to and from. And I wouldn't say that's totally accurate, but what box dye is. And you can see how she kind of had that ombre effect before. You can still very much see that. But it's really a very smooth transition. It doesn't look bad at all. So you can see how blonde it is on the ends now and at the top. And it's this really pretty ashy blonde. So we're actually both a fan of the color. Something else to note is that with blonde, it's much more sensitive to getting it even. So if you look right here on the side, you can kind of see where it's lighter here on the top. So definitely be careful with the roots. Um, just because it did dye the roots a little lighter here and it's a little darker underneath. So overall, we both really like this hair dye. Um, recommend the brand as long as you're not sensitive to the smell because it smells awful and it's not just when you're dyeing your hair, like it lingers in the space. I mean, it still smells awful in here. So if you're sensitive to smell, definitely don't use this. Don't, don't even try. But the color's really pretty and we've even talked about maybe trying a lighter blonde. Um, you can definitely also see in some areas where there's a little bit of orangey hues. It doesn't look orange, it's just instead of like an ashy blonde, it's kind of like a chestnut blonde. And I think that's when we're up top, her old hair cooked out had faded a little bit. So the color is going to change based on what your base color is already. But yeah, really, really pretty color. All right. So thanks for watching everybody. Um, stay tuned to see more videos and let us know if you would like to try this or any comments and thoughts you have, just drop them below. Subscribe to our channel to see more coming soon. Thanks.